Hello and welcome to Wear Rider. My name is Ben. We're going to be taking a look at the BMW uh, Battery Charger Plus that is used on pretty much all the BMW motorcycles. It's an accessory that I would say is definitely worth looking at. I'm going to show you why you should consider buying one just based on my own experience. I've had the charger system now for the last couple of years. I still have the original box in it so I'm going to show you what the box looks like, what's inside the package and I'll even do a demo connection as well on my own bike uh, that's behind me, the F800. Um, for those that are not familiar with my content, um, I currently uh, do um, travel videos on my motorcycle currently around Ireland and I've also done some bike reviews as well so be sure to check that out if that is something you like. Anyway, so we'll get cracking with it. So let's have a look at the unboxing of the BMW uh, Motorrad Battery Charger Plus. Right, so let's, uh, I'll show you the box now. So this is the BMW Battery Charger Plus uh, box. What I'm going to do is I'm open it up. We're going to take a look and see what other connectors are inside. Um, I've had this now for the last couple of years. I've still got the original box with it, so it just keeps it all together. So what do you get uh, for for this? Well, first of all, it's 100. And, this cost me 125 euros a few years back, and I tell you what, it's something that I've always wanted. I've had bikes in the past. I haven't had smart chargers, and this is just one of those things that I remember um, wanting many many years ago so I laid out the money for it and I tell you what I've never been disappointed I haven't lost a single battery since um, since buying this it's super easy to connect which I'll show you shortly so make sure that you stay tuned for that and for those that have watched my videos before thank you for coming to watch again right so let's get this box open so there we go straight away we've got our battery connectors we have the unit itself this one here and there's a whole bunch of information booklets. Now, obviously, depending on what language or what country you're from, this is, um, I'll uh, make sure the subtitles show various languages. Um, so if you're, whether you're uh, um, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, German, Dutch, I'll make sure the subtitles are there. You'll have a certain amount of these booklets inside. Um, this is what the system looks like. It doesn't look like much at the moment. It's nice and compact, really straightforward and easy to use and obviously it comes with a normal uh, plug-in connector. Now, I'd suppose depending on what country you're in, in, in relation to Europe, obviously this, the connector would, if you go to your nearest um, or BMW Motorrad, they'll obviously supply you with the correct um, country setting connector. But there you go, so let's have a look. We're gonna unravel this now. I use my extension cable for this as well, just to give it a bit more feed because A, I don't have a plug outside. So that's to the extent of the plug or cable. There we go. And then you've got this here, which plugs into the socket on the axle motorcycle. Now, I know if some of you don't have this, effectively then obviously you have the, the, the actual battery connectors and that's probably the reason why they supply them as well. Right, so I'll demonstrate this shortly. This is where it goes, it gets plugged in. I'll show you where it is on my bike. It's right next to my key, really straightforward to, uh, to use. Uh, they automatically detect the battery when it, as soon as it's connected and it'll start charging automatically straight away as well, which is fantastic. So super easy to use. You don't need to press any buttons. Um, you don't have to uh, activate anything um, on here as well, which makes it really super easy to use. I know some of the aftermarket ones, which are much cheaper, you're gonna have to go in, select the exact uh, battery if you're unsure of it. Again, you'd be taking a bit of a risk, but this is nice and easy. It says they're lithium compatible as well. It's a little stamp on the bottom there. Um, so again, no matter what battery you have on your motorcycle, it'll detect it and it will charge it up accordingly. This is a trickle charger as well. So just take note of that, but it, it'll give you the band, but I'll show you that shortly. This is the, uh, the connector. So what this does is this connects onto this section here. And basically you're, you can then connect up to the battery terminals. Simple. All right, so I'm next to my bike now. I'll show you exactly where the socket is in relation to it. Now, it'll be different as per bikes. So it depends on where your socket is, but I'll show you exactly what, what the socket looks like. So in case you are considering purchasing one of these units, which I would highly recommend it. For me, it's super easy. I love it. I just connect it up and I go and do other things and then it'll, it'll automatically charge up to max. And then it'll also go into sleep mode once it's fully charged. So really nice and straightforward and easy. But let's take a look, shall we? 
that's where the socket is so simply connecting it up I'm going to show you that shortly and then that's where the key is so that's where it is on the F800 um, it's right over here now it might uh, depending on what bike that you, you currently have it could be located either on the side here I know on the G650 GS is one of the older ones that, that I had the 2012 model it was underneath here and I could I could easily plug it in that way right so um, I'm gonna get it connected up now I've got the power supply ready to go and I'll show you exactly um, how the whole system works so really straightforward what I tend to do first is plug it in without plugging it into the power socket comes with a handy strap here so um, you can just wrap that around the handlebars you can see the readouts there and then just plug it in right so that's what it's going to pop up first it'll come up with the uh, the name it says no battery initially just waiting for, to initializing there's the initial, uh, initialization. I charged this earlier on, so I know it's about 90, uh, 90 plus percent. So um, you'll see it's going up. There's your charge. It's going to take shortly. Fourteen point two. Almost there. 14.3. It's going to kick in in a second and then we'll see the charge value. There we go. There's the charge value. Okay, 38%. That's how it looks connected. You'll see when it reaches full, it'll go green if there's any errors. If it's red, um, it, will, um, it will light up there and then you know you've got a bit of an issue. If for some reason there's any issues with the battery, then the error light is going to come on. So again, that's you'll be talking at that that there will light up. If there's any if there's any issues with the actual battery itself, and then um, also if your battery is too low for this connection to go, then you're going to have to directly connect it up with the battery terminals, which is what the uh, that little adapter is for as well. So it's handy that way as well. So either way, you're going to get a charge in. If for some reason your battery is knackered, it's not going to charge at all. So just keep that in mind. There we go. Charge values, 96, 97%, 98. There we go. Full light indicator is on. Great stuff. Right, so that brings the video to an end. It's only a quick video, just to effectively show you how the actual battery system works. I would highly recommend it to anybody. For someone who, who you just you just need to get it charged, it'll also stop those moments where you haven't ridden the bike for weeks and you get onto it and it's flat. And then there's your missed opportunity. You've got beautiful weather and you just want to head out on the bike. So really something you should consider getting. I see uh, the value in it. Um, have it. Not having had it before, previous times, I've had to replace two batteries, so it's handy now. So far, I've had this battery in here since I bought it. I had to replace the battery. I have it's about three years. Um, it's about three, four years now, roughly. Uh, call it that. Um, and since then, the battery's been absolutely fine. I just keep topping it up whenever I, I need to. And the system is super, uh, very, very safe for your BMW. So whether what, um, no matter what BMW you ride, whether it's an S1000 or it's an F8, uh, F850 GS or an F800 or F60 GS, if you have that connector on there, it's going to be super easy uh, for you to connect it up. But uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. And uh, be sure to check out my, my other content if there's stuff there that you might uh, consider liking, either my bike reviews or even some of the fantastic scenery here of Ireland. If you've ever thought about coming to Ireland and you want to look at some places to ride, I've got a playlist there as well of some really good places to, to take your bike at. But um, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye for now.